vitamin K is a nutrient required for the production of proteins important for blood clotting, healthy bones, and tissues. It is a fat-soluble vitamin, meaning, it is absorbed and transported in the body with fat molecules. Vitamin K comes in three forms. K1, also called philoquinone, is produced by plants. It is the main type of vitamin K in our diet. K2, also called menaquinone, is produced by bacteria. A type of bacteria in our body called commensal bacteria produces vitamin K2. K3, also called menadione, is a synthetic and artificially produced form of vitamin K. The daily requirement of vitamin K for adult men is 120 mcg, and for women, it's 90 mcg. Pregnant and lactating women also require 90 mcg. A cup of dark green vegetables is typically sufficient to meet your daily requirements of vitamin K. Other dietary sources of vitamin K include cauliflower, egg yolk, dairy products, and tuna fish. Once vitamin K enters the body, bile salts are released from the liver for its absorption. The absorption occurs in the small intestine. The absorption rate of vitamin K1 in its free form is around 80%. However, depending on the dietary source, this value can vary. For example, K1 absorbed from spinach is only 4 to 17% of what is absorbed from a supplement. Vitamin K deficiency is pretty rare, as most of us tend to meet our requirements through diet. However, it is commonly seen in certain groups of people. During pregnancy, vitamin K does not cross the placenta to reach the developing baby. The gut of the fetus also does not have any bacteria to make vitamin K before birth. Vitamin K is present in breast milk, however, the amount present may not be enough to supplement the newborn's needs. Vitamin K is usually administered to the newborns either through an injection or as an oral supplement. So far, vitamin K administration to the newborns has not resulted in any noticeable side effects. Other factors increasing the risk of vitamin K deficiency include prolonged use of antibiotics, malabsorption, health conditions like Crohn's disease, and certain medications like blood thinners. Vitamin K is best known for its function in the blood clotting process. It produces proteins, known as the clotting factors, that are responsible for creating a mesh-like structure to arrest blood loss. Vitamin K in nature is present in an oxidized state, that is, it is attached to an oxygen molecule. In this state, vitamin K is inactive and cannot help with the clotting process. This oxidized form is reduced to the active form by an enzyme called vitamin K reductase. This enzyme is produced by the VKORC1 gene in the liver. Adequate levels of this enzyme are required to activate vitamin K making it a crucial factor in the blood clotting process. About 90% of Asians and 37% of Caucasians have a change or mutation in the VKORC1 gene, which results in lower levels of the vitamin K reductase enzyme. This can result in a lower production of the clotting factors and an increased risk of blood clotting disorders. The VKORC1 gene is a well-researched gene in pharmacogenomics. This gene has been known to influence the dosage requirement of warfarin. Warfarin is a drug used as a blood thinner to treat blood clots. This drug works by inhibiting the activity of the vitamin K reductase enzyme. For people who already have lower levels of vitamin K reductase enzyme, the normally prescribed dose of warfarin can be dangerous as it can lead to severe bleeding and bruising. The FDA recommends a lower starting dose of warfarin in people with lower levels of the enzyme. A simple genetic test can reveal whether you carry any change in your VKORC1 gene that could result in lower levels of the enzyme. Most genetic tests provide your DNA information in the form of a text file called the raw data. This data may look like a bunch of numbers and letters that may not be easy to decode. Worry not. Xcode Life can help you with this. All you have to do is upload this file and order the gene nutrition report. We then analyze your raw data in detail to provide you with comprehensive nutrition analysis, 
including information on the VKORC1 gene.